Hello everybody, so I wanted to make a quick video about the 2014 RLC Hot Wheels Candy Cane Striper, real quick. Um, I got a picture right here of the Candy Striper. A few first things to know, this is a vehicle that is limited to 4,000 pieces. So you could see it right there, hopefully. And uh, my number is 3933. Not anything special. Um, first thing, ways that I tell if this vehicle is the real deal. Uh, in a package, it's a lot easier to tell. That's the, uh, the real deal, for sure. Your sticker is a very good indicator. Uh, pay attention to the fact that it says 04... 04000. So the number in the back, and I should have took a picture of the number here, is going to have a zero in front of it. All of the numbers are. That's your first big clue to know if it's real or not. And this is a vehicle that is made a lot of reproductions, and some people even try to pass off fake ones as real because of the value and demand of the vehicle. Uh, good ways to know. Okay, right here you can see in this photograph I found the seats are pink inside. I've seen a lot of those where they have done that. And then you have like a chrome look. Uh, the roof is a big one that people tell. But good ways that, that I personally, on this in particular vehicle, look for is on the bottom. You see that? It says H22. Kind of hard to see. I couldn't find a base pick. But H22. A way you know it's real. Other other ones. Going back to uh, my book here. That I've been telling you all about. Other numbers. They have G37. G40. On the bottom. Let's see. G49 is one. Uh, just a little fine details that, that I pay attention to. Yeah, those are the ones so far. There are variations. Uh, a lot of folks already know. The roof. You have like light pink, dark pink, I think. Orange colors on that. Um... Just good ways to know if you have the real deal or not. But uh, the big one is, yeah, so the number under the hood. Very tough to fake that. And then the sticker. Look for the sticker. Um, yeah, that, that's my biggest advice, you know. And then, of course, the rivets, like on these... Get my flashlight here. There's a little bit of pink on this front rivet, which you probably won't be able to tell here. But on that front rivet up there, there's a little bit of pink. So it's probably a good indicator also. Even on the back, actually, there's, there's pink on the car. Very good ways to tell. Um, a lot of people also... I believe just look at, at the roof here in general. They look at the roof and then they're they're pay attention to the way that, you know, is it white first, pink first, that gray on the uh, the windows. Good way to know. Um, value on this one. Obviously the number one, number two, number three, any of those low numbers are going to have high value. Number 1955, extremely high value. Number one, um, <laughs> I think that's like up in the 6,000 range in value. Honestly, I don't know. Um, there's a Facebook group um, that's like, I'm, I don't know exactly what it's called. I'm on it. Uh, but it's a whole list of people that have registered their number that they own. In the group and there's a lot in there 
Um, the value on this vehicle, I would say, trending values on eBay. Again, you're looking at around 2000 pre-tax. So what I've seen selling on eBay since September has been over 2000 Well, it's been 2000 but you know what taxes. So September, August, September, October, November. So for the last pretty much three months, it's been hitting 2000 Um. Well, actually, if you look at if you look at November seventh, November seventh and November eighth, you had some sell for nineteen hundred, seventeen hundred. One of them says so. That was number three five zero three. So yeah, but it's still around two thousands. What you're looking to pay for one of these? Uh, yeah, that's the trending value. Let's see if you go back. Let's go back a good ways. If you go back to like March, toward the end of March this year, going into, uh, you know, March, April, May, and, you know, June and all that, it seems like the value of this was ranging around 17, 1800 mostly. So it has gone up pretty good. Um, this vehicle loose, from what I can tell, I've seen one on June 13th go for 809 bucks on eBay. I've seen one June 24th sold for 1400 on eBay. Now, you know, I mean, look at that. That's going up. Uh, June 22nd sold for 960 on eBay, which I was actually going for that one. Well, I had it on my watch list, and I got busy and didn't even bid. It's like, man, I totally would have bid on that for sure. But, um, yeah, that's about the stuff. My most recent, um, sales, number 2338, well, not my sales, but fines, sold November 3rd, $2,000. And like I said, November 7th, November 8th, you had one sell for $1,925 on the 7th, you know, and stuff like that. So, very good car, uh, nice pickup. Again, there's a lot of sold listings on eBay for this vehicle that are repetitive. They have not sold. Um, it People bid on them, sure. You know, could give you a general idea, but again, maybe the buyers aren't paying. But uh, this is one on eBay sold listings that you will see the same number be sold four times over and it, and then it'd be listed active again when you look at the live auctions so you really got to pay attention to what the uh you know the numbers and whatnot but again i, I value this car two thousand bucks pretty much um that's what they're mostly selling for uh, if you wanted to sell it quick, you could probably sell it pretty fast for around 1800 1700 somewhere in that range. I've had offers on this before. Somebody offered offered me, you know, 18 1900 probably for it. Uh, again, I'm just my personal collection. Um, I tried to make a video of my personal collection to show, you know, show everybody, but... I don't have a way of being able to do that at the moment. I try it on my phone. The video file is too big. It won't let me do it. Um, yeah, so that's the candy striper. The things I look for the most underneath, like I said, that's a big takeaway. You're almost guaranteed to have the real deal seeing that. And if you don't see that, a lot of other things can be fake. That's the biggest takeaway. But yeah, uh, thanks for checking it out. Hopefully that's pretty helpful. 4,000 pieces, 2014. There's multiple collectors that own several cars of this, like 9 pieces, 10 pieces, etc. Uh, you can look on that, that Facebook group I was telling you about. Some of those guys own 30 of these cars at least. So if you definitely really want to get your hands on one, don't wait. I mean... They're not going to go down in value, I promise. They're just going to keep climbing, keep climbing. This is the best opportunity you can to get one right now. They're still on eBay, pretty active. Um, a lot of prices active are really high. 
they're not going to probably sell that much. So the actual auctions, opportunities to purchase these at a reasonable price are very minimal. If you do want one, it is a great time right now to get your hands on it. Uh, again, if there's any um, in particular cars that you want me to check out or tell you about, just let me know and I'll look into it. All right, thank you.